Hello, one, two. Oh. Oh. This is mad. So I'm going to play some songs. Um, first one I'm going to play is, well, it's like, yeah, no one's heard this. Make love. I know I'm gonna be absolutely fucking exhausted by the end of the night. Yeah. From like just socially exhausted. Yeah. Nervous energy as well. Yeah. No getting pissed yourself, super pissed before it. I have no chance, man. Fuck. Two pints max. And then half an hour before, I'm just gonna like shout into a pillow. Because you looked at. Oh, fuck. First time playing to people. I'm Mackenzie Mackay. Call me Mac if you want. Ever since I was like a kid, it was like, you know, I want to be a singer, mom. What do you want to be? You want to be a singer? What's your backup plan? Never had one. And still going, still working towards it. But finally, after like 10 years, everything's kind of like, it's finally going in that direction. I'll get there, I will. You have to believe in yourself, innit? So I was born in Yorkshire, but at like four weeks old, we moved up to the north of Scotland. Lived up there till just before I turned 10, then moved back to Yorkshire. Went to college in York and then moved down to London in 2016 and I started uni. I was living in London for about four years. End of 19, I moved out to New Zealand. Ended up coming back in November 21, back to London. This pub here, I used to live above here. The amount of fucking songs I've written here is pretty crazy. Alright, son. How are you filming? This is Marky. Hey, John boy. <laughs> are you alright? Yo. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Look at it, but I cold as hell, boy. It's not even cold, is it? Where's Who's the in guitar? there? Where's the guitar? I was brought up on hip hop. Last Emperor, Tupac, all these lot. But I also love a bit of rock. Love Arctic Monkeys, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Goo Goo Dolls. And then I like Everly Brothers, Ella Fitzgerald, Louis Armstrong, all that lot as well. And then Wu-Tang Clan. This producer put a beat up and was like, you know, people do something on this. Posted it on Instagram and it got a real nice response. And I was just like, all right, I'll keep this up. One morning I decided to write a little idea called London. Man, I'm in London, Brixton, Camden, sipping a can with a spliff in hand. And I get on the phone to my mum, chatting away, going to my TikTok after the phone call, and I see it's got like 2,000 likes. Half an hour later, it was like nearly on 10K. I was like, oh, people like this one. Let me write more on it. I recorded the hook again and the first verse, and in a day, I had like a million hits on it. My followers had gone up like 30K, I'm just like, that is nuts. Time spend all sat by the river at night, sipping on wine always red over white. London first verse where it's like sat by the river at night, sipping on wine always red over white. We just used to sink bottles of red here all the time. Like <laughs> miss that. People were still messaging me, when's it ready? When's it gonna be out? But basically, I've been working on it and I want it to be perfect. I want it to be nice, I want it to be ready. And I don't want to rush it either. So I won't put something out there if I don't feel like it's ready. But it's coming and I'll be bloody happy when it does because I won't get any more questions about when it's coming out. <laughs> nah. and there's been a few where there's a lot of messages and I love it. I think it's great. It's so nice that these people actually want these songs to be out and I appreciate everyone that actually wants to listen to me. But you know, I'm keen to do it right. Stay real with myself and trust myself if you get me. Like, I finally feel like I've found my sound and how I want to sound like this stuff that I've been working on recently is just the best stuff I've ever worked on in my life and I can't wait to show people it. I'm excited to like meet new people who are actually fans. Low key shitting myself. <laughs> like actual. I just wanna look at you forever. Are you ready? Let's fucking do it. It's kind of mad to me because I've never really had before where there's that amount of people that want to come and see me live. I think after playing live and seeing more of these people and actually meeting them and getting to know them a bit, it will just feel a lot more real. Like, I just appreciate everyone that's actually going to take time to come and watch me. Like, that's mad. Wicked. Show time, guys. I want to play at nine. Nine. Yeah. Ever since I got back from New Zealand and just started posting up my stuff on Reels, TikTok and that and just doing Mac, completely Mac. I just want to say that how grateful I am to everyone who 
you know, he's given me a follow, he's shared me. A lot of people don't realise how big it is, but like, just a little comment or like people that reply to my stuff, like, it's massive for me, like it is. We're family, innit? Okay. The thing is I keep on losing, I keep on hitting snooze on the alarm, and if I do this, I know that it's cool and it's so calm and it's all right now. Tell that chick to pipe down, wait until she finds out. I'm a living myth, and if I pull up, I can flip and I brought the living myth first out that kind of blew up on TikTok and like everyone was singing along to it and shit. And it was a bit overwhelming, the amount of people that came and I was super nervous because I haven't played in like a year and a half, but definitely the start of something in a different song when I was just like asking people to click and we got that click going fucking mint. Honestly, like so fucking sick, big time. And I'm yours and that's the ending. Sick. Hands on the map like where am I now? Last bit of gas in the tank I counted Eyesight blank, I don't want to find out And there's a couple pillows in the back if you want to lie down Thank you, legends, fucking so sick I can feel the love down there Mad. A lot of people keep asking me about London, this song that I wrote. I want to show everyone where it's at at the moment, so I'm going to show the demo if anyone's here. 